But hello, hello, shalom, my beloveds. Hello, hello. God bless you. May peace and grace be upon your life. Shalom. God bless you. Hello, hello. Welcome, 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 welcome to the house of God of Israel and the Daughters of Israel Apostolic Ministries. We love you. We thank you for tuning in. We thank you for all your support, um, for those that, um, that, that uh, financial support, and, and also for those that keep the, uh, the ministry in, in prayers. And even by you watching um, and faithfully um, viewing this channel is um, a way of support as well. Glory be to God. Everything that has to be about finances, glory be to God. Um, but at the same time, you know, um, you, by you just, you know, um, praying and and um, you, you're watching this too, um, it encouraged me um, to go forth. I mean, seeing all the, the great comments, glory be to God, you might have one or two that might be off, off the wall, but nevertheless, that, that doesn't mean nothing. <laughs> glory be to God. Um, but I love you and I thank you um, for all your prayers and all the things that um, you have done for this ministry. I mean, it is for God um, and also for the things that's in your heart that you want to do, but you may can't, but, but just knowing that you want to do it. Um, and you for real about it, um, that blesses my life uh, um, as well. And I thank God for your life. Glory be to God. All right, so um, first thing is we're going to be um, speaking about Matthew chapter 7 today. Um, I am led to come up here and to share some of, my, some of my experiences that were similar to Jesus on the mountain. Glory be to God. Um, so, um, And the reason being, I, I, I feel like the Lord is telling me that there are some of you um, that have either experience what I have experienced or experience something similar or perhaps just have been experiencing some godly experiences and you don't have no one, nobody to talk to about it or um you know you just um a lot of times people like us you know especially the sent ones that are coming out um and, and just people um through this awakening um we have been experiencing some supernaturally experiences um and encounters with God um, like no ever before because we are in the end times and that's what the Bible says. The Bible says that, you know, he's going to be, uh, you know, sending more dreams and visions and, and, you know, we'll be seeing more of the Lord at the end times. Glory be to God. So that's why a lot of us are, are experiencing a lot of this, uh, you know, seeing, seeing the Lord like myself walking through the walls. Glory be to God. I mean, just, you know, just suddenly coming into to, uh, to your room and, and your home room um, lights up. Glory be to God. Um, because we're in that end time. Glory be to God. All right. And a lot of times um, the father, the Lord, he will um, do um, vis visitations for um, even to unbelievers. You know, if you, uh, if you ever um, listen, uh, either um, read about Muslims who have been Muslims for so many years and, and then the Lord would, uh, would, um, would come into their life, you know, in a vision, um, you know, or either they have an out of body experience, glory be to God, and then their life is, you know, forever changed, you know, and, and that's the word. The word is, uh, is, um, Transfiguration, uh, transfiguration, um, and, and and we know that transfiguration is something you know um that is um I'm gonna put it in my own words right quick um something that you know um that that you can experience you know in your life that to where you will never be the, be the same okay all right so now the word actually means a complete change of form or or appearance into a more beautiful or spiritual state. All right. So sometimes when we have uh, God, godly, uh, God encounters or the presence of the Lord comes in and he touches us, touches us, glory be to God, it transforms us. Right. It trans. Uh, 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 um, we, we become um, transfiguration from it. OK. Like we'll never be the same about it. Even our outer appearance. Uh, glory be to God. A lot of people tell me on here and I can't see it. Um, sometimes I do see an extra glow every now and then. Um, but the way um, people um, that comes to here um, um, through um, this YouTube channel, um, uh, they always say that the glory of God is uh, upon me. Um, glory be to God. And um, I know the Father has told me that, but I can't really see it. But I believe that God does that to keep me humble. Okay? <laughs> All right? To keep me humble. I do see an extra glow here and there, but the way uh, that the people uh, come through the YouTube channel and be describing it, I don't see it like to that extent. And I'm glad I don't because I think the Lord does that to keep me humble. Glory be to God. All right. Um, so that's just evidence that um, that I um, um, had uh, a transfer, a transfiguration in my life. And that is with Christ. I mean, I, I, I actually experienced the real living God in my life. Glory be to God. And I pray and I pray in, um, into the presence of God. Now, um, now I'm going to tell you this. I don't know how I got here. I'm trying to tell you. I don't know how. 
um, per se, in my own mind, in my own human mind, how I got here. Um, the only thing I can tell you is that I stayed in constant prayer, and God just giving me, giving, me, giving me the things that He wanted um, for me to have. Glory be to God. It, it wasn't nothing that I, that I asked for. Um, I just, you know, um, He called me. I got tired of the world. You know, I was beat up, you know, <laughs> for the world, and I just uh, went straight on in. And I prayed, prayed, prayed. I was obedient, and I prayed, and prayed, prayed, um, until where it had led me here. So my be my obedience, me being obedient to God, glory be to God, um, and me being humble, I believe that's what really probably got me here. <laughs> okay, because other than that, y'all know my story. I I didn't know anything about God on a personal note. I just know how to use God when I wanted things. Okay, and once the Lord fixed those things, I was out like lightning. Okay. Glory be to God. Okay. All right. So anyway, with, I thank God for your life and I thank God, um, um, just, um, to, um, that I did made it through. Um, so I can, um, be able to connect with you and, and meet people like you and, um, you inspiring me and me, me, me inspiring you. So, um, it's always a phenomenal feeling, um, in the spirit of God when you meet, um, and I'm getting emotional right now because, you know, when you know that you meet, uh, how can I say it? Uh, real people, you know, you know, so many people perpetrate and say that though they are real, 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 and then come to find out they're not. And you know, so it kind of leaves you like, oh my God, who is real? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna um read from uh, uh we're gonna just read a little bit of Matthew 17. Um, but before I go into that, I want to clarify um what the live was about last night. Glory be to God. Uh, for those who wasn't there, and I know that my video had popped up anyway afterwards, but I want to be specific. Um, about um, what I was trying to tell the ones um, that had joined me on live yesterday. I thank you so much for uh, for tuning in also as well, my beloved who came on live. Um, what I was saying was that the Father had given me another revelation about how we are on the right track with this fast. For those that don't know that we are fasting off of Joshua 5 and 6, glory be to God, and, um, and that is um, for the fast for us to go to, uh, to enter into our promised land, glory be to God. Okay, so if you read uh, J Joshua 5 um, and 6, um, um, you will know that... Um, one of the things in five, and the father showed me, showed me this just yesterday, and I was about to run around his house because I thought, oh my God, is that um, um, that Joshua, uh, the Lord wanted Joshua to circumcise um, the men that was, you know, with Joshua at the time because there were so many, you know, had died off before them, glory be to God. Um, so um, the new men needed to be circumcised. And so, so why? So they could be on one accord. Now think about this, glory be to God. By us fasting together, all right, we are being on one accord, right? We started out the first of the year um, doing a communion prayer together because the Father want us to enter into uh, the, the new year together on um, on one of on one accords. Okay, glory be to God. So we did that together. And then after that, we started to uh, seal it with the fast. Okay, all right. So the way he showed me in um, Joshua 5, okay, he told, he told me, okay, for order for them to enter in into their promised land, they had to be on one accord. They had to be, had, they had to be prepared. So they had to be prepared by what? Getting circumcised. Okay, everybody had to be circumcised. So the Lord told me uh, uh, yesterday that we are being circumcised in the spirit. Come on, somebody. The fast is about five and six. So we are also being circumcised together in the spirit so that we can enter into our promised land mm, and take our possessions. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Joshua them could not call down that wall. Joshua them could not go into their promised land unless they were circumcised, unless they was completely compared. I'm sorry, I'm prepared and, and, and upright with God. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Now check this out too. All right. Um, after they got circumcised, they celebrated Passover in Gilgal. Mm. Passover this year uh, is, uh, I believe, April the 16th to April the 26th. Glory be to God. The Father told me to tell you guys, if y'all remember, for those who have been following me, uh, told me to tell you guys back in November, I believe, whenever some of you, have, some of you guys have pushed out your ministry, that a lot of you guys who have been faithful, faithful, to, faithful to God will be starting up on May the 5th. All right? Now, this was... <clears throat> Way before that, I knew that the that the Father was gonna give me the word of the seat for, um, for the season. Okay, the season, the first season for January, February, and March was what building. So we are building off of uh, uh, First Kings, where Solomon had built um, the Lord's temple and also his palace. Okay, because we know that he had to do what he had to do the Lord's uh, will first, and then the Lord blessed him what with his own with, with, with his own palace. Glory to God. And then we know that the palace that um, that Solomon had built for himself was greater and bigger than the Lord. 
So that tells me that when your blessing comes, God is going to grant you greater and bigger things, okay? All right? Glory be to God. Because of your obedience, okay? Glory be to God. All right? Now, we can go there, but I'm going to fast forward. So so when the Father uh, gave me the word um, 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 to start prophesizing in seasons, okay? Because I also have the Issachar anointing, okay? So I won't be doing monthly, monthly anymore unless he tell me to. Um, so right now, I'll be doing... Uh, seasons every three months glory to god so the first season we are in are is is in building okay all right so uh that means january february march we are to build all right we are to build all right and we are going to also at the same time um god's gonna give us provisions all right god's gonna bring us the people to help us on um, divine connection if you, if you go back and read first kings uh um, chapter one, I believe maybe to maybe like seven or eight, you will see where God brought people to help Solomon. Okay. And all this and that. Okay. The wealth transfer was already there from his father, David. And then when, um, he went, um, in front of, um, uh, the living God, God actually, uh, released, um, his, uh, uh, his heavenly father, spiritual transfer, you know, uh, the wealth. Um, and you, like I told you guys, there's nothing greater than when the Father blesses you. All right, so that's why that's why the Word of God says in First Kings that not only did um, the Father bless Solomon with the more wisdom, the wisest man in the world, He blessed him with more wealth and honor, mm, because the wealth was coming from Him, not David. Oh, come on, somebody. Mm, come on, somebody. Y'all follow me? All right. So, all right. So, um. Um, like I say, when, when the Lord gave me the word for May the 5th, I had no idea that he's going to give me a word for the building season. So now if Passover, okay, if Passover now in this time, okay, leave, leave it today. I want you guys to follow me. Is around April. Okay. All right. And then Joshua and, uh, uh um, the, um, and God's people had, uh, prepared themselves and got circumcised. Glory be God. And after they got circumcised, they celebrate Passover. So that tells me we are being circumcised now. I'm already there. I'm, I'm doing this doing this with you as far as the circumcision because the Lord already told me my heart is circumcised in him like years ago. All right? Glory to God. All right? So now, but now the thing is we got to get circumcised together as one. So, uh, so, so we are getting circumcised together in the Spirit of God. Once this is done and we celebrate Passover. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. We are entering in to our inheritance. Mm. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. We are going to enter into our inheritance. Now, some of us may see it a little bit before then, okay, depending on what the Father has spoken to you about, but I'm doing this based off of uh, uh, us doing this thing together and how the Father showed me through the Word of God. Glory be to God. So that tells me what the Father has been telling me to tell you is confirmation. Come on, somebody. The first season, we're going to be building terrain. Mm. The first season, we're going to be building terrain. Terrain will be the next season, meaning as in April, May, June, and so forth on, we should be raining. Come on, somebody. And then the next season will be conquering, raining to conquer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This lines up with the Father has been telling you through me. Come on, somebody. It lines up. When I when I when he's giving me that yesterday, I was like, oh my God. Oh my God, we are being circumcised in the spirit of God together. Come on, somebody. I'm I'm, I'm here I'm here right now. We are being uh, ster sterilizing. God, God is sterilizing us. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. We are being ster we, he's circumcising us in the spirit to heal too. Because you know when you when, when you're getting when you become, well, you're a man, I'm saying, if you become circumcised, you know, you have to heal from it. But we're healing in a good way, you know, not, not a bad way, all right? So, but he, but we are circumcising now through this fast, okay? After this fast is over, some of us going to maybe have to wait till we see the evidence of it until actually around April. Some of us may, may see some of it before April, but I believe in my heart that April, after we uh, um, celebrate Passover, Glory be to God, we are going to enter into our promised land. Mm. Come on, somebody. Help me, God. Mm. Glory be to God. Mm. Our promised land. Do you understand that? Do you understand what I'm saying? Somebody say hallelujah right here. I mean, this is, I mean, uh, this thing really rocked my mind. 
God reminded me, reminded me of all the things I have been saying to you guys before this. And when you're really walking with God, God will keep coming back and confirming it just to let you know, even though you might don't see it and don't feel like it's going to happen. But he will come back over and over again somehow to remind you, beloved, you on the right track. You, you are hearing right. Let me show you why. Mm, come on, somebody. So get ready for that. Get prepared for that. Because it's coming. Says the Lord, it, it is coming. We might not know how. I believe it's going to be supernaturally done, but it's coming. You got to keep pushing. Uh, for those who uh, do not know about the fast, we are fasting Monday through Fridays from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Only liquids. Then you take a break on the weekends, okay? All right? And the fast is over March the 1st. Some of us are fasting, <coughs> glory be to God, um, until uh, April the 1st. It's up to you. It's between you and God. I only follow direct orders from heaven. When God tells me to, to, uh, to say something, I say it just like how he said. He told me to fast for 60 days. Okay? Two months. Glory be to God. Okay? All right? So now if you want to fast for nine days, that's wonderful. That's even the more. Okay? Glory be to God. All right? So, um, And I want to ask, ask you this, um, beloved, because I'm led to ask. I, I did ask uh, last night over uh, live. Glory be to God. And I thank those who already started to give. Glory be to God. Uh, but one of the things that the Father wants uh, me to uh, to have is, to, uh, is a podium. You know, where I can preach the word of God. I'm going to start preaching. Come on, somebody. God, God is doing this thing. Come on, somebody. Uh, this baby um, that I had birthed out and carried for God will be one years old uh, in March. Mm. Yes. My ministry on YouTube will be one years old in March. So in a, as a natural child, oh, come on, somebody. Uh, as a natural child uh, uh, that, that, uh, at age one, what happens? They begin to walk. Mm. So this ministry is, is beginning to walk. It's about to start walking. So that's why now he wants me to stand up with it. Come on, somebody. Think about it now. Come on, somebody. When you're giving birth to your uh, your your uh, your baby, your ministry, whatever, um, it's like a process. You got to think about it as a like as a natural child. What does a natural child do at six months? It's starting to make noise. What does a natural child do at nine months? Okay, it, it, I mean, well, I'm sorry. Let's say four months start to make noise. Six months is it, is uh, sitting up. Okay, all right. Pretty much, we know that the children are these days are uh, very advanced. So I'm sticking by how it was for me in, in, in my time <laughs> when I had my when I had when I had my babies. All right, and then perhaps ten to eleven months, they are already walking. I mean, twelve months, so they are already walking. Definitely, definitely twelve months. So now the Lord wants me to be up, standing, and preaching. So for those who can give, it don't it, it doesn't matter what amount. Uh, any amount is appreciated so that the prophets can um well so that the prophets can um be able to do this. Um I, I encourage you to go on my PayPal account, um, donate whatever the um the Lord um tells you to donate. Um if he wants you to donate, glory be to God. Um I have a PayPal account and I have a cash uh, app, app account. Um glory be to God. Um if you're not comfortable 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 with, with either one of those, you can just email me um and ask me how can you um donate. I don't normally do this. Um, everything I do is led by the spirit of God, but he's telling me to ask, um, to ask for it. Cause I do need help with it. I just moved. So <laughs> into my new home. All right. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing next. I'm going to be preaching and I'm going to be preaching in front of you live more often on here. Um, I'm going to be having sermons and the father wants this baby who is not a toddler to stand up <laughs> and preach the word of God. All right. And I thank you guys for for um for in advance and for those who can't give but want want to give and just can't give in general it's okay I still love you but I I'm just led to ask that Lord be to God okay give me one second I'm getting some more lightning in here okay that's better I had to turn a little bit more lights okay Lord be to God all right so um now we don't pass all of that Lord be to God um women. Uh, my 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 uh, my uh, sisters and daughters, uh, my friends in Christ, uh, my family in Christ. Remember that we are having our first um, conference call tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. If you miss tonight, it's okay because it's going to be a constant thing until the Lord uh, leads me to another direction. <laughs> so 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 it's it's all forgiven. 
Um, I know people have their own lives and stuff like that. Glory be to God. All right. So anyway, so um, let's pick up and read Matthew 17. Glory be to God. And I'm reading from the NIV version. Glory be to God. And like I say, this is not really a teaching. It is more so for you to um, uh, to be able to uh, open up more and share. Glory be to God. And also to let you know that you're not crazy and you're not alone. Because I have, I can go on for days about how many um, experiences and encounters I have had with the Lord. Mm, yes. But uh, anyway, <laughs> that's a whole no nother uh, maybe... Um, 10, 15 more videos on that that alone. It's it just so much, just so much that I have um, encountered in the spirit of God. All right. But um, today it's going to be about my experiences on the mountains. Okay. Glory to God. All right. Um, so here it says, um, after six days, Jesus took um, with him Peter. Now, this, I'm sorry. Now, let's go back. Okay. Now, if you go back to 16, um, it talks about... Um, the Lord predicts his death, and then Peter uh, also declares uh, that Jesus is uh, the Messiah. Um, and then um, the Lord w warns the disciples about um, the Pharisees and the Pharisees. Okay, glory be to God. So now we are at where the Lord takes um, uh, Peter, James, and John, um, his brother, to the mountain. Okay, all right, to the high mountain. Okay, that's, that's the key word, high, high mountains. Because back then they, they used to go. And this to walk up and climb the highest mountain. Lord have mercy. Glory be to God. All right. So it says, after six days, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, the brother of James, glory be to God, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. There he was uh, transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. Uh, just then there appeared before them Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. And then lastly, it says, Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is, it is, I'm sorry, is it good for us to be here? If you wish, I will put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. All right. Um, let me see. And it says, while he was still speaking, a bright cloud covered him. Um, thank you, Lord, for reminding me. Cover them. And a voice from the cloud said, this is my son whom I love, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Oh, you did. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. So then um, now I'm, I'm being reminded, um, too, about when Moses went up to the mountain and he came back down because his, his, his face was so, um, after spending time with the, with, um, with the father, his face had shone so much. I mean, it was just so, it was, the glory of God was on him. I mean, to where he had to wear a veil. And a lot of times when I, um, when I used to pray, um, because I have that same spirit of Moses, glory be to God. For those that don't know that, that's what the Lord told me. I, I can say it now, glory be to God. Um, um, I would pray with the wedding veil over over my head, cover up. I, I would pray just that same way. I would pray like that earnestly. You know, I would burn incense to the Father. Um, um, you know, um, I, I would be in the Father's presence for hours, for hours, okay, for hours, you know, walking around with this veil, just as Moses did. Okay, glory be to God. That's how the Father was training me back then. So, um, yes. Um, so, um, anyway, so um, uh, um, what I want to share is this: the, the the Lord wanted me to share um, some of my um, mountain experiences. Okay, glory be to God. All right. Um, and him and I was talking about it last night, and he actually showed me some new things that I didn't realize. Um, that well, I well, I realized that it, uh, it uh, I realized it was there. But I didn't realize I couldn't see how it looked. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? Because back then, you know, you know, uh, my 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 singing wasn't as strong as it was is now. You know what I'm saying? I could see real good, but now like I can really see, <laughs> and it's just getting stronger and stronger. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's it's just God has been. I mean, doing something good in me. Mm. Sometimes we don't know what it is, but we just know that God. I, I feel your presence. I feel you filling me up. I feel you touching me. I, I feel, I, I know you're doing something um, in me. Okay. All right. I mean, I know what it is now, but I'm saying, but there's some times, you know, that you guys probably um, don't know. And, and, and there have been some times, but I didn't know, but, but be patient because he will reveal what he's doing. All right. So I have been called to the mountain three, three times, um, actually. And I believe it, it was all uh, in one year. 
yeah, one year. Okay, all right, all right. So my first mountain encounter, actually, um, uh, my apostle friend, all the way from Nigeria, uh, I, um, he is a very anointed um apostle, glory to God. Um, he was the first one. He was the first one that told me that you know the Lord is calling to the mountain. So I said, okay, you know, all right, you know, and you know, I have to, get, you know, we have to confirm things. So I waited um, on the Lord to uh, confirm the word from the man of God, and He did, um, showing up very quickly. Um, so then, um, what happened was, I said, okay, God, okay, um, where am I going? Because where I stayed at, there was mountains there, but I felt like God was wanting to take me to a real high one. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like really, you know, I'm scared of heights, you know. So anyway, make a long story short. Okay, now this was back. Uh, in February 2018, you know, I got I got called to my first uh, mountain. Glory be to God. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. No, no. November. Thank you, God. Uh, uh, November 2017. 2000. Uh, uh, February 2018 was the second one. I'm jumping ahead of myself. All right. Okay. All right. The first one I had to drive to Virginia. All right. And the first mountain that I went to was um uh I think it was called Blue Ridge Mountain. Um, which is is at, at the heights of almost 7,000 feet. Mm. Yes, God. You can even, while you're traveling up in your car, you can even just, you can feel yourself just going up, 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 up. I was scared to death. I'm not going to lie. I was, this is my first mountain experience, and I knew I was hearing from God, and I knew that my friend in Nigeria uh, is a man of God, and I know he's very anointed, and I know everything that he ever told me has come come to pass, you know what I'm saying? So uh, about myself. So anyway, so um um I, I knew you know I, there wasn't a problem. This was the flesh, I guess. So I'm traveling up this mountain in my car. I said, Lord, I can't make it. I can't make it. This is too much for me. You know, I, I was saying that you know the closer I got to the mountain, glory be to God. This is going to help somebody today. I promise you. And um and so uh, when I got probably to thirty to maybe forty minutes. Close into the mountain. Mm. Come on, somebody. I then start to see angels descending from heaven. Mm. I mean, all types of angels, all types of you know, shape, size, and form. Baby angels, huge angels, all with horns. All right. It was like they were celebrating and letting the Father know she is coming. You know, so just think about uh, uh, when uh, uh, a parade. The father told me last night, like a president in a parade. Oh my God! Like you know, you see the president coming down and they're traveling in a parade. They were celebrating me and telling the father that she is coming. They were singing in the spirit of God. And and one thing that I heard them say, it, it, they said, it, it, it said, "All hail to the queen." Mm. I, as I start hearing them say that, I was in tears. I said, this, this thing is real. I mean, I mean, it was all over the place. There was a lot above my car, beside my car, in front of my car. I mean, I got all the way to my destination, beloveds. There were so many of them guiding me to meet the Father. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. There were so many of them. So then I knew, I said, okay, I, I, I can't turn back now. <laughs> like the song said, I can't turn back now. You brought me, so, you brought me this far. <laughs> okay. So I pressed through. But then, after the prophets got uh, maybe, um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 10 minutes, probably 10 minutes uh, to, to the point where I could really get out of my car and start to really walk up the mountain, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And I didn't do it. All right. All right. Now, mind you, and, and the Lord forgiving me, because, you know, we know that God already knows what we're going to do before we do it. So he already knew this. He said, you know what, daughter, it's, it's okay. All right. Yeah. You know, all right. So now, all right. So now, mind you, the uh, the day that I went was a cold day. It was windy, um, but you know when you go to the mountains, um, it's it's uh, more it's more it's more colder. You know the the temperature declines as the higher you go up. So it's cold. It's windy. When I tell you this, beloved, when the Lord told me to stop here, park my car, and He led me to an open field. Mm. I feel God right here me right now. He led me to open field. And um, I remember he told me to bring my notebook and pad, notebook and, uh, and a pen with me so I can write down what he would have to tell me. So I said, okay, God. So I did all that too. I brought my notebook and my, my, my pencil, my ink pen, whatever it was. So he, um, he told me to get out of the car. He said, stop here. He said, go to the middle, middle of the field. All right. Now, when I tell you, when I got that car and I got to the middle of the field, 
the whole atmosphere shift. Mm. You, you know how when the wind blows so hard to where it starts to move your hair, your, your, your hair just go back? Okay, now the wind was blowing before that, but the wind really picked up whenever I got in the car to sit down. God let, God let me know that he, he was there. He was coming. He was there. All right, so last night, and I'm going to jump back to the story, my experience, um, because I knew the angel of the Lord was with me. I knew that, but I just couldn't see him. But last night, the Lord showed me that, that, that there was a 10-feet foot angel that was standing up over me. Mm, a 10-feet angel, all white, with a long horn, was standing right beside me, over me, as I was seated. I never knew that until last night. Glory be to God. Then the Lord showed me the cloud that came. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm serious. The cloud that came, because remember I told you guys that the that the wind has shifted. Now it's like, oh my God, now I'm up here, almost on this dang old mountain. Now the, now the wind shifting on me. <laughs> you know, come on, somebody. Probably was scared of death. I, I'm, I'm serious. I was scared. But I obeyed. Glory be to God. Because I know that the Lord was with me. Glory be to God. So, so, uh, so, um, th that day it was partly cloudy. It was, but for some reason, for some odd reason, there was a, a different type of cloud. Mmm. That was coming towards me. So, you know, I was like the Israelites back then. I was kind of scared to look up. You know, I was like, okay, I don't want to look up. <laughs> like I, I felt something there or whatever. But last night, God showed me his face. So he confirmed that, you know, when, when you go tell the people, Tomorrow, you know, uh, 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 about your, your experience with me, uh, I'm, I'm confirming to you that it really was me. So I saw the face of God. Yes. And as uh, as I was uh, there sitting down, um, um, I was uh, being downloaded. My brother had already told me that when you come back, you know, you're going to be transformed. You know, you're going to be elevated. You know, you're going to be uh, transfigured. All right, glory be to God. Okay, so um, so anyway, so the Lord, you know, um, He told me some things about myself, uh, some things about my ministry, um, the things I'm, I'm going to be doing, the people I'm going to be healing. It's just like He was, He was doing, uh, outpouring more in me. Okay, now mind you, the, I already knew about the ministry, but He was giving me more. Hmm. Come on, somebody. I, I tell you, anytime you have a godly experience. Anytime you have a God, uh, 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 a God encounter, a dream with the Lord in it, you best believe, buddy, you are being imparted with, with his power or his anointing. God is giving you something from him. There's no way you can experience God or see God and not be affected by it. Think about all that power that's coming out of God's chest. Mm. Think about all that power that we see on the throne of God. Oh, Jesus. Come on, somebody. I know because I because I stayed in that room with him. Mm. All right, so then, all right, so I, I, I stayed there maybe about an hour, and then the Lord said, you can leave. All right, so I left. And and and, and like any other uh, person that get a word from somebody else, you know, we, we, we'll go back and tell the uh, the. Uh, the man of God, though, the woman, a woman of God, what we experienced, okay? So at that particular time, I couldn't see the changes, but I knew it was there, okay? So I called uh, 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 um, my, 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 uh, my brother back, and I told him my, what happened. He said, no, you got to go back. I said, go back? Do you know how hard it was for me to go, to go there and to be that high, <laughs> you know? You tell me to go back, so he was telling me that he saw me sitting at a mountain for three hours. All right, so nevertheless, before I, I share the second mountain of spirit, my point is that um, that there was a there was a transfiguration that happened in my life after that point. For one thing, I went higher in God. Yes, God anointed me with His power, and that that was that was not that was not the first time. Well, you know, maybe first first time you know in that way, but I mean. After that happened, I, I have been, um, uh, uh, how can I say, um, I have been um, imparted more. 
I hear, for some reason, I, I hear um, a nine in with more. Okay, thank you, God. But that, that was my first transfiguration uh, experience. Something happened to me. Something happened to me. Something happened to you. If you if you have if you have had the same experience of going to the mountain, see, the father only calls the real prophets to the mountains. Real the, the prophets, the real prophets are called to the mountains. Yes. Every prophet that you know was on a mountain in the word of God. In some form. And I did not know that at the time when I was called to the mountain. So you got to understand but one thing about me. I, I hear the voice and I disobey it. And then I, I wait for the results. That's a faith gift. Mm. I, I didn't even know that at the time. I just heard the Lord say go. And I went. Alright, so then the second time I was called to the mountain was back in... Um, February of uh, 2018. Now this is this is really going to blow your mind because this might be confirmation for somebody else. Um, so um, the Lord had me following Billy Graham old ministry back in the day, uh, the the Crusades. He he was showing me something about myself in this man ministry. And normally if, if normally if God starts showing you uh, um, start uh, having you watch other people. Um, like a like a uh, like a particular ministry all the time, somebody who's been out there a long time ago before you. That means your ministry is going to be similar to that person's ministry, or there's something about that ministry is like yours. Okay, if you dream about a, another famous person in God, you know we're gonna say famous because me well known, um, um, in a good way, um, God is showing you again yourself. He could be showing you your, the magnitude of the size of the ministry. You might have a mega ministry like, like this person. Your anointing may be similar. The things that this person had, have, have done uh, before you, uh, uh, you're going to do, but, uh, you know, but greater because we, are, because we are in that greater times. Okay? That's to help somebody too. So the Lord was showing me um, Billy Graham. So I would watch Billy Graham for a while. It's old ones now. You know, it's old ones. And I, and I was sitting there and see, I said, how that this man had called so many people. I mean, people back then were just, what, what, what was running to get saved. I would watch the video on YouTube. I'm like, good Lord. I mean, whenever the man would say, come, they would just be running it up to the altar. Thousands of people. None day we can't have get not one, one person. It's sad. But anyway, that, that's, that's another story. So the Lord was showing me this man way before, way before this man had passed away. I told my my, my spiritual daughter uh, um, 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 back in Charlotte, North Carolina, I said, uh, uh, he's not going to live uh, past 100. That's what, that's what I told her because the Lord had, had put in her spirit that there was going to be a shift with this ministry when this man passed over because we know that he was a general in the spirit of God. And, 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 you know, and after the heads come down, uh, you know, uh, then there's a shift. Everybody else kind of get bumps up like a job promotion. Come on, somebody. All right. Everybody bumps up. So, um, anyway, so back to February. So I got called to the mountain in February. I want to make sure I got this right. I got called to the mountain February the, uh, uh, the, uh, 20th, I believe of 2019. Now, this mountain wasn't as high as uh, the first mountain. And the Lord told me that he would have a staff waiting for me to walk up the mountain and that he would give me a sign that he was there. All right? Um, just give me one second. I want to make sure I'm, I'm giving the accurate dates. Yeah, I am. All right. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. Uh, so when I got to the mountain, um, the first thing I seen on the board, lying against the board, was a staff. Mm. 
You know how when you go to a mountain and then, you know, before you start walking up the mountain, um, there's a sign describing the trail of the mountain and, and uh, which way you're supposed to go. Okay, glory be to God. So right there at the very foot, foot of the mountain was a staff. Now, how did that happen? God had prepared supernaturally a staff for me to help me walk up this mountain. Mm. So I said, okay, God, now I know you're here. So I goes up the mountain, straight to the top. I made this one. <laughs> this one had like a, 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 um, a, um, a, a gazebo where you can sit down in. I sat there for three hours. I worshiped. I, I prayed. I did some symbolic things in the spirit of God, whatever God told me to do. I, I seen the angels. I, I, I heard uh, um, the, the thunder of God. I mean, I actually heard the thunder. Now, this day was a beautiful day, hot, a hot day. And I heard the thunder in the clouds. Mm. Come on, somebody. Talk to me. I heard a sound in the spirit of God. It was, it, it was, it was, it was so profound. It was also in the natural because I heard it like that. I mean, it was like a thunder. Mmm. Was so loud. I stopped, you know, whatever I was doing, I was praying, I think. I, I stopped and I'm like, this is really like, this is, this is actually, I'm hearing this. All right. So as after my three hours with God was over with in the mountain, I knew something shift for this ministry. I, I, I knew something had happened. I mean, like I knew it. Um, and I said, okay, God, I heard you, but I didn't see you. You promised me I would see you. So as I was walking down the mountain, glory be to God. Glory be to God. And I was walking down with care because I was walking down, looking down, you know, with this, with this staff. As I was looking up, Something to say, poof. Mm. And when I tell you, mind you now, this is in broad daylight. It was the Lord. It was a uh, uh, um like a mist, like a like a like a lightning, like a like a light mist. It's like poof. And it went up from the ground all the way up to the sky. And then he said, I told you you was going to see me. I told you I was here. Mm. Lord have mercy. When I came out of that mountain, beloved, I was once again transfigured. I knew right then and there that, that the world had so stripped away from me. And I didn't care. I knew then that God was changing hands. Meaning as it's shifting uh, myself and you, awakening, shifting us into our rightfully positions in God. He was calling us up and higher in him. Mm. Come on, somebody. So now this thing even get greater. I was working back then. And the very next day, which would have been February the 21st, 2018, I don't never go into the lunchroom in the morning. But this morning I did. And when I got into the lunchroom, the news was on. And they were speaking about the death of Billy Graham. Mm. That Billy Graham had passed away that morning. So it was confirming to me that the shift had started. God had called me up to the mountain the day before this man death. The man passed away that night, which would, which would, which would have been February 21st. All right? Now, get this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you something else, too. I don't know if you guys know, ever heard of Catherine Kuhlman. All right? Okay. Catherine Kuhlman was a... a, a um, supernatural American evangelist. I mean, she was, she was, she had saved so many people. I mean, I mean, healed so many people. Um, glory be to God. Um, okay. Yeah. Glory be to God. So not only did Billy Graham passed away 
on February the 21st, 2018, and the prophetess got called uh, February the 20th, 2018. Catherine Kuhlman died February the 20th in 1976. That says transferred all the way around. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. If you don't know Catherine Kuhlman, you need to Google her and read about her because she was a powerful, supernaturally uh, anointed woman of God. Come on, somebody. And so now if you know that you have gotten called, perhaps, perhaps there are people on here that got called to the mountain in February. And here I am confirming what you have been feeling. I'm not sharing this for nothing. This is for somebody. This is for, 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 for really for everybody who feel like they can't share um, because you're different. Because you, you've been called to a higher, higher realm uh, in God. Like, like, like I have been called to the God realm. Eventually, my mind will be a mind of God. And I'm mean, being activated com I'm completely in God, like God. It's already there, but you know what I'm saying? Like manifesting fully. To the fullness. And a lot of you have been called to the God realm too. Or to the angelic realm. Where you will be working with angels. Mm. So you have the angelic realm. Then you have the God realm. Because we know the angels are right there. Beneath the, beneath the God realm. But you still have access to go up and down. Between the angelic realm and the God realm. Come on somebody. And a lot of you are, are, are anointed to work with the angels. God is doing a new thing in his people. So you're not alone and you're not crazy if you see the Lord walk through your wall. You're not alone and, and you're not crazy if, if you see angels, angels walking all around you. You're not alone if you see a gorilla in a corner. You're not alone if you see a dang a, 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 a dinosaur saw walking through, <laughs> through, through your house. You're not alone if you're seeing any type of, you know, you're not alone. The prophets are seeing the same stuff. But great, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the same things that you're seeing. You're not crazy. God is just taking your mind out and, and placing your mind with his mind. That's all he's doing. Come on, somebody. He is awakening you to him. For him. Push this back. So nevertheless, these two uh, experiences that I had with the Lord, with the Father, um, it transfigured my life. I can never go back being the old person. I, I can't. I can never go back. Because I, because I have had a major encounter and encounters with God. Now, the last mountain experience that I that I went to, um, um, it was uh, more so for my daughter. Because you got to understand that you know the anointing falls from the head. So the the mountain experience that that we did together was really more so for her than for me. But I still obey God, and we made it all the way to the top. And I knew that um, the Lord was showing me that she was coming, but she's going to come at his time, not mine. Who Jesus. And I was going to be the one to help, help bring her in. Come on, somebody. I, that day, the Lord met me, felt like we, uh, that we was Moses and Joshua. I was, I was helping her cross over. Come on, somebody. Your children is anointed too. For such a time as this, but you're gonna to have to give God time to deal with them on His appointed time. And why God <clears throat> is dealing with them, you keep going. You keep going. Because that child or that children will come eventually. You keep going. If you stay faithful, oh, I feel the Holy Ghost right here. If you if you stay faithful to God and do what He tells you to do, your children will come. In time. 
But you keep your eyes on the Lord. Don't get discouraged about what they're doing. Don't, don't, don't stop because, you know, your, your child is acting up. They're probably acting up because the devil using them because the devil know where you're going. Or the devil know where you are at and who you are in God. So he used them as a puppet, a puppet, I mean, you know, to, to try to, uh, uh, I'm hearing, um, to be, bewilder you. But you keep going. I trust God. I don't even worry about my children anymore. I pray for them daily. Um, but God promised me. He promised me he's going to keep my children as I go through the process. So I don't worry about it. Yeah, they may still call me mom with their own little problems. Glory be to God, and um, and I and, and um, because I'm always in the spirit of God, you know, I, I'll encourage them all the time, um, spiritually wise. I give them spiritually advice, and I also give them a word of God because some, you know I can hear from God, so I can also hear from my children. Um, but God promised me, even even when when uh, the times get rough with them, I know I say, God, you promised me, and you know what? I'm feeling somebody pain right now. I, I, I'm getting emotional right now for somebody who's watching me. Oh my God, you've been worried about your children. And I feel it. Because I feel like I'm getting choked up in the spirit. Like my, like, you know, I'm trying to hold my emotions back for you. But God is saying, let go. He got, he got your children. Mm. He got your children. Let go, says the Lord. I got you. And I got them. Mm. Jesus, I feel the Holy Ghost. Mm. He got you. You got to trust him. You, you keep going. You keep doing the things that you're doing. And let God do what, what he's supposed to do. In them children of yours. And this is the, I don't want my daughters to get confused. This is not for you. <laughs> This is for someone that I don't even know. This is, some, this is for another uh, family in Christ. Okay. All right. Um, so, yeah. So, um, I was there to come and share share the, these experiences of the mountain because, like I said, I believe that um, some of you um, don't have no one to talk to. You know, you, you, you've been having all these experiences, and, and some of you probably know what they mean but still cannot uh, – uh, relate to anyone else about it, or perhaps you don't know what it means, and, and you just can't talk about it. And, and you're thinking like you're by yourself, but you're not. Because I'm here. And I can go on for days and days about the more experiences, but the Father fixed my eyes on Matthew 17, so that tells me a lot of you have had uh, experience, uh, mount, have had uh, mountain experiences, or have been called to the mountain and don't know why. Or perhaps you have been called during the time that the prophet has been called. So that gives you confirmation that you are lined up with this end time army. You are lined up with this end time movement that God is doing. You are an end time prophet. You are an end time evangelist. Oh, come on, somebody. Hmm. So leave comments down there. I, I want to see some comments about that. You know, if this is for what's for you, um, or if you had the same experience, just glory be to God. Uh, I'm telling you, you're not crazy. You're far from being crazy. If anything, they're crazy, not you. <laughs> because you're walking with the light of Christ in you. Uh, you're a child of God. Um, and a lot of times when you're walking with the Lord, people are not going to understand. They're going to think you plum fool out your mind because you choose to choose life and not death. So they're not going to understand. Mm. So may peace and, and grace be upon your life. I love you guys so much in the Lord Jesus Christ. I speak blessings over your life, healing, prosperity, wealth. Uh, you know, love, peace, joy. Uh, I speak it all over your life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Uh, remember to pray for the Jews, Israel, Jerusalem. Uh, read Psalms 122, the whole entire chapter. Uh, read, uh, read Psalms 122, verse 6, the peace over there for God's people. 
and uh, continue to uh, pray for um, uh, the gathering that God is trying to do um, that, you know, that he will be doing this year for us. Pray for that. Um, keep that covered. Also pray for the ones that uh, that has not been uh, called into the kingdom um, that belongs with this gathering. Um, pray that um, that their awakening will um, escalate, I'm hearing, in the spirit of God um, so that they can come. I believe in God to do that as well, um, to find his missing, his missing and lost tribe, the people that are out there that don't even know where they belong. And they are still clogged up. Uh, they can't hear. That needs to be awakening. All right. Okay. All right. So I love you guys so much. I know Jesus Christ. Um, um, I'm going to be praying for you. Uh, shalom. Shalom. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Shalom.